Yes, brother. How you doing? Yes, mate. Welcome to Gym Bars. Listen, what's your name? Where are you from? Um, Michael. I'm from Chelsea, just over the road. Uh, grew up around there. And yeah. yeah. First of all, I need to apologise because I was late today. Um, <laughs> Silky, I'm blaming you, mate. He was getting his hair cut before me, so I apologise yeah. for that firstly, man. So what, you grew up around Fulham, Chelsea areas? Yeah, literally. So um, originally... My parents are from Ireland, so my mum and my dad's from Ireland. Then I was born in like Labrick Grove, and then eventually, because it's the same council, you can like move. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So they got moved to just near World's End, kind of down the road. And yeah, I grew up around here between like Fulham, Chelsea, Labrick Grove, even ran around over here. Do you know yeah. what I mean? All around these areas. What was what was your childhood like growing up? School and everything. Yeah, school school was good. School was wicked. Like um, all my earliest memories were because i used to go back to ireland a lot because yeah. my dad died um when i was younger he died when i was like uh three years old from like um like an accidental overdose kind of oh. thing yeah it's mad so and then there was a lot of like trauma there with my mom like things going on so she would always go back to ireland and then i was back and forth so like all my earliest memories were back there do you know what i mean yeah. playing out around there and then as i got a bit older i remember like obviously playing around the estates and then I didn't want to go back to Ireland anymore. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, when you start getting into a bit of trouble and that, you're like, or just climbing everywhere, doing all this mad stuff. Oh, yeah. Like, do you know what? I used to love like climbing up scaffolding and things Mate. like that. I was forever getting in trouble like that, you know? That's all we used to do. Just climb, just climb all around the estates and that. Find places to climb. Was, was <laughs> That's it, was, stupid. What was it like living over Ireland? Is that quite hard? Because I know the Irish, they just love to fight and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Well, my mum's my from, um, from, my dad's from Tipperary. That's in the South. That's more like country. Um, my mum's from Belfast, isn't it? So she grew up during the Troubles. Yeah. So like, it was just mad. Like, so my whole family over there grew up like all just complete madness, guns going off, like, um, English army ra raiding the house. And oh, right. yeah, yeah. It's unbelievable. Like my mum's got a crazy story, isn't it? Like she, if she tells her story, it's, it's you wouldn't believe yeah? it. Yeah. 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 We'll be to get her yeah. Yeah. Get her on. Oh, She's that'd mad. Be, yeah. That'd be wicked. <laughs> mum, we'll see you on June Bar soon. All right. <laughs> and then, um, yeah. So when I used to go over there, with like an English accent, they're a bit. There was places we got had little friends and that you'll play out, but you got to be a bit. You're not allowed to like just run around like you are over here in Belfast because yeah. I'm running around like you want mate, and then <laughs> they're, they're, do you know what I mean? It's too like yeah yeah, especially because it's a bit weird because I'm Catholic, and then the Protestants Protestant, yeah. they're um they're like sided with like the English army and stuff. So, but I'm a Catholic, but I got English accent, so it's all just a bit confusing. So we used to just um have a couple of friends, go to their little bit, you know what I mean? Play out where it was good. And it, it was good. Yeah, it was sick. But I was always mostly just around family. Yeah. And then it was over here is when I started uh, get, you know what I mean? Playing out, then getting getting in a bit of trouble and that. What was uh, your first ever offence where you got nicked for? <laughs> where I got nicked? Um, so basically, I first time I got nicked, I used to get like stopped and, all, and that all the time. But I never, I was like one of them who never got nicked. Do you know what I mean? I was always like, because I think I had like blonde spiky hair when I was a kid and that, and then you're running around with everyone and I didn't, I would look like all innocent in it, so I'd yeah, always yeah. get away with it. But um, when I first got nicked, it was because I had, um, oh, you'll know about this, um, the notes. I don't know nothing about the notes. <laughs> you know the notes with the... I don't the, know nothing about any notes. <laughs> with, the, with the die on it, yeah? But obviously I had them from, I got them somehow, not from doing anything... But I just ended up with these yeah, notes, you know, for like half price or whatever it was. And then so, yeah, I, I was smoking a zoot with one of my pals, a few of my pals. And then we just, we were like in, we climbed over some gate to go smoke a zoot. And I don't even know how old I was, young though, yeah. And then, yeah, we just said, oi, wait there, like lights and all that. And then, boom, well, I dashed the notes in the bin, gone running, jumped over the wall, and then ended up getting caught. And then, but I didn't have the notes on me, so I'm thinking, yeah, I've done it right here. So there's, a, there's going to be a few people watching this who um, won't understand what you're talking about when, it, when he says the notes. If... Oh, okay, yeah. So they were like, we had like 20 pounds and 50 pound notes, and they were covered in like um, purple dye from the, you know, the cash and transit boxes. So when yeah. people do a robbery, they open the box, yeah. and then um, they get spray, sprayed, sprayed with dye. Yeah. And so, yeah, we had these notes, and we were just trying to shift, like, shift them or whatever, and you know what I mean? And then, yeah, we got nicked. I thought I got away with it all right. And then it turns out they found the note. So I ended up getting charged for something. 
I can't remember. It was like a suspended sentence or something. What would that charge be? Like sto having stolen goods? Yeah, literally, that's what it was. So obviously they were trying to like make it worse than it was. Mm. And then it was just handing it stuff. So like I found them under a car and that yeah. was it. Yeah. Oh, you got, well, you get a fine or something. Um, a fine and a, a suspended sentence, I think. No. So That was years ago. But that, that was your first offence? Yeah, that was the first time I got nicked and like charged. Yeah. What about um, prison? You've been, you've been to prison? Yeah. So, well, I recently just come out of prison. So in... What's in 2020? I got arrested for um by the NCA under Operation Venetic for um yeah, like the Encro chat. So, yeah, the charge was concerned to supply class A. So, yeah, I ended up getting um at the end of it. So, I, I went guilty, but like, it was a long process, but I'll, I'll get into it. But I ended up going guilty and I got three years. Yeah, so, so the, the NCA. Um, yeah. Can you, can you just let them know what that is? Yeah, it's the National Crime Agency. You do not want them on your back. Nah. <laughs> and then, yeah, so how it happened was, um, so to go into it, like, I have to go back. So my brother was um, ha ha having, like, a Muay Thai fight, and I think he was kind of celebrating to have this Muay Thai. So this is how I got nicked. Yeah. So um, he was kind of happy to have this fight and um, he went out to celebrate. So he went out for a few drinks. I've gone out for a few, few drinks and um, we were with a few people. They ended up arguing with the waiter. This is a separate story, but it all links up, Ooh, isn't it? Yeah. And then a fight's happened. Them lot all having a fight. Me and my brother are breaking it up, yeah? Then one of the waiters punches my brother. Bear in mind, we've had a few drinks. I'm there fighting over with these other waiters. Mm. Raya, my brother, next thing I look, he's on the ground. I'm thinking, what's he doing? Your brother's on the ground. Yeah, Ryan, yeah, he's on the ground. I'm saying, um, I'm like, get up, let's go, like, let's go. And I'm pulling him. He's like, I can't, I can't, my leg. Thinking, what the fuck? I was like, all right, cool. And then um, I didn't know, but he'd been hit by a bus. So when the geezers punched him, yeah, he's gone back. The bus has ran over his leg. Oh, damn it. So then what's happened is the police have come. I'm trying to help my brother. And then... I've been nicked with a day scene. I was wearing my work stuff. I had grey trousers on. I had a, a kitchen knife in my thing. And then they seen it through my trousers, but I was a bit drunk, so I'm just moving reckless. And they're like, um, do you have anything on you? But they've obviously clocked. I've seen them. They're all like on my side trying to help my brother. And then I've seen them all kind of turn on me, innit? And they're like, do you have anything on you? I didn't even know. I was just drunk. I was like, uh, and then I obviously whatever. I got nicked for that, yeah? So then what, you got nicked for a kitchen bit? Yeah, yeah. So dumb. Like, I wasn't, we just gone there for a thing. But anyway, I got nicked for that. I, you know, I'm in the uh, cells and that, and then I call my brother. And, I mean, I call my mum. I'm like, yeah, what's happening? Is Ryan all right? And they were like, you know, he broke his leg. I was like, no, I thought he was just putting it on. I thought he was drunk or something, yeah? They're like, no, his shin is completely snapped in half. He's got two, like, panda eyes. Like, his mm. eyes were fucked. I got pictures of it. And um, he was in a bad way. And I was like, no way. And then they were like, you're right. I was like, yeah, it's just a knife, whatever. Do you know what I mean? And then... So I got charged for that and, and put on bail. So I had to go back to court. What, what made you want to carry a knife? So um, I wasn't carrying it. So I don't know if I can say, say it, innit? But, um, yeah. but basically, I didn't have it when I come back from work. I ended up with it yeah, on yeah, me cool, cool. after the whole thing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And then, um, yeah, so I just ended up with that knife, got nicked for that. So then I've been bailed for that, yeah? And then I have to go, I've got to go back to go to court and for that. And I'm thinking, oh, I don't know what's probably, I'll be all right, innit? Do you know what I mean? Blade article, nothing's coming off that. So at these times I'm working. So like I made a conscious effort that whole year to work hard and not right, do right. what I usually do and be running about doing this and that. I wanted to work. I just had, I remember being in Ireland and I was proper hungover and I had like a, I don't know, like a mad feeling of like, I just can't, live this this shit life anymore do you know what i mean like even though you've got money and all that i just you think like where am i going do yeah. you know what i mean? have one of them moments in ireland so when i come back i started doing the sprinklers so at that time when i got nicked for the knife i was fitting sprinklers with my pal sunny and um so yeah the next week now so i've just been nicked all that's gone on ryan's fuck he's in bed with a broken leg i now um about to get onto price work now so I was doing well, like I, I progressed, about to get onto price work. And um, 
yeah, so I've gone from Beckham. I used to live in Beckham with my missus. Drove down to Chelsea to my mum's. Come in, said hello, seen Ryan, seen what's going on, chilling. This is a week after I've been nicked and belled for the knife. And then chilling, talking to my mum, then just boom, doors come through. <laughs> I thought it was the fridge falling because I didn't even think about getting nicked. Because, you know, like I've just been nicked in Belgium. Yeah. Yeah? I didn't even think about it. So I'm thinking, what, what the fuck's that? What's happened to the fridge? And then my mum's going, what, what, what? And then I just see plain clothes officers. I'm in the front room. They're running past me, going into the hall, yeah? I mean, ran past me to, to the bedroom. My brother's in bed with a broken leg. They've all jumped on him. Oh, poor fucker. Yeah, he's fucked. He don't know what's going on. He's delirious some pain pills oh, and all that, innit? Fucker. <laughs> what's happening? They're terrorising him, I bet, as well, weren't they? And you know they're not normal police as well. Like, you know, I could see just straight away, they're all plain clothes. They just, you just knew they were different. And I was just thinking, what the fuck? And then, obviously, I put two and two together. So, as this has all been going on, all my, my pals have been getting nicked. So, I know that, like, we... I knew that Encro got hacked. Mm. Like, literally, loads of my friends, family, like, people, everyone's in jail. So, see the, um, the Encro chats, they're, like, uh, encrypted, didn't they? In encrypted phones, yeah. Yeah. Where was they made them, first? Because I, I think I was in prison when they was about, and, like, you know, I don't really know about them. Mate, I, I don't even know, to be honest. You know, it's just, um, you just get, you just find out about them, yeah, and, yeah. like, in retrospect, everyone was saying, in jail, all the people that was in there, it's like, how do we even trust these phones? Did you know everyone's trusting them, they're talking, they're sending pictures of bits on it, yeah, they're yeah. sending everything's on there. Like, you wouldn't believe it. So, see, because I know a lot of people was getting released as well after getting it with them. Was they allowed to use their messages in court? What do you mean? So, people are, uh, like... Beating the cases, do you mean? Yeah, was they, was people getting their cases thrown out over these because um, it couldn't be trusted or something? Yeah, so well, so what happened with me was, um, so everyone I knew had been nicked and um, in jail. Everyone's on um, remand, mm. but I hadn't been nicked. Did and you know it's coming now? No, well, I thought, but then I was working for a while, isn't it? Mm. So like, I thought maybe like, maybe I'm gonna get nicked, but then. As it just went on for so long, and then like people have been in there for months, like six months, whatever, and I'm thinking, oh, I've done all right. Because, yeah, I thought maybe there's, do you know what I mean? Because I knew I wasn't that busy because I was working that whole year. Do you know what I mean? So what was they on, um, you said all your friends and that got nicked. Um, what, was that, what was that for, just having these phones? Or was they like yeah, involved literally. with other things and that as well? Well, it's for having the phones. So, yeah. so they've been on Obo. And like they're, they're being watched from these phones. So it's like when the police are looking into these phones, I think it's how it's work is that they would find a name and then they would try to associate a person with that name. Oh, so dangerous. It's mad, isn't it? Yeah, because I know a lot of them was people was having their normal phones with them as well. That's how I got done, yeah. And that's how they was linking that encro with his phone. Cause... And NPR, my car. They said, they said your car, your iPhone, and then this um, consistent name with being are together. all together. So either it's a mad coincidence or whatever. Before I got nicked, I knew everyone was getting nicked and people knew the encros have been hacked. No one should have anything to do with them, blah, blah, blah. So everyone's being nicked. I haven't been nicked. I was one of the last people to get nicked. And then, yeah, that's happened. They've come through the door. They're like, they're like where's the phone? Where's the phone? I'm like, I like, didn't say anything, can it? So I'm like, oh, I don't know what you're chatting about. I don't know. And then, well, first they, they all had up Ryan. Ryan was like, what? My name's Ryan. And my leg, my leg. And then I'm like, yeah, over here, mate. I should have dashed out the window. And then yeah, I should have yeah. ran. But obviously, I knew it was just, you know, you, I just had that realisation. I thought, I knew I'm going to jail. That's Straight it. away, I knew. And then, um, yeah, so it was on me. They were like, oh, yeah, imagine as well. I've had, I've had like nine tickets in my pocket, yeah, which I never have tickets in my pocket. But did you get charged for that? As well? Yeah, what yeah. Supplying or personal? Um, I said personal, but they done me with intent to supply class A and intent to supply class B as well, because there was some weed in the house and some um, like gummies, some oh, like, like edibles. yeah, big bag of them gummies and like other things. And then, um, yeah, but they were like, they didn't care about that. They were like, yeah, whatever, we don't care. You've got bigger things to answer to. That's what they were saying. They were like, where's the phone? Where's the phone? I was like, not saying nothing. 
I've gone, I've gone, I'm sitting in my mom's bedroom because they were like having me up here and I kept asking me, asking me. I'm just not saying anything here. Yeah? I've got no comment. <laughs> the geezer goes, it's not an interview. <laughs> yeah. But like, you know, they're just badgering Maybe me. Like, just start out from early, go no comment from yeah. early. Literally, like, I'm just saying, I'm not saying anything, can it? You keep asking me the same questions. Yeah. It's just like, and then, um, anyway, got Nick, brought to the station. And yeah, so they're going, I'm thinking, I'm fucked. Mm. I'm thinking, like, literally, yeah, this is me now. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I, I got, like, I don't know, but so then when we've gone to the interview, um, it was all COVID was going on, so it's so long to get in there, get interviewed. Yeah. I was in there for like for ages. I slept over, and then the interview was the next day, and then um, yeah, it was just long. I was in there for time, and then uh, they come and they interviewed me, yeah. So they whacked out the paperwork. And while they're interviewing me, like they're asking me these questions and they're like, we're saying, so we believe you to be this username. Mm. No comment. Um, and then I just no comment the whole thing, but I'm just listening to what they are asking me. Cause then you kind of- You kind of read what they got. Exactly. Yeah. So um, they're saying from this, so all the ENCRO evidence where I didn't know, you find out after is only from, I'm pretty sure it was March, to June or March to July. No, March yeah. to June. So it's like three months. March, April, May, yeah, June, something like that. So that so however long you were on the encro for, the only evidence they have is out of them three months. Do yeah. you know what I mean? So that's all they have on on, on the paperwork. Whatever yeah. you were doing. So say you never used the encro before and you got onto it on March yeah. and jumped off it in June and you were super busy, you're mm -hmm. fucked. Do you know what I mean? But if you went on holiday and had a little break or something at that time. So it's only in them months then, yeah? Yeah. Mad, isn't it? So you've gone to the police station. Mm. Um, obviously you got Nick with the nine tickets as well. Yeah, yeah. And some weed as well. And, and some weed. What was the what was the charge we ended up going to um prison for in the end? Um it was concerned to supply class A. Yeah. That was the main one. So how how was your time in the in the um the police station because for me that is the hard, that's harder than prison yeah 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 well i was only in there the week before anyway in it so <laughs> i was getting yeah. used to it in it i was i literally was thinking how am i here again two weeks in a row like how has this happened you know i think that's just like karmic debt yeah you know you're living a certain life no matter even i tried to go to work that karmic debt you have to pay it somehow yeah and it all just hit me at once i think that time did you get bail or did you get straight reminded yeah so i got bail yeah yeah i couldn't believe it but it then happens though man yeah i even got bail for the armed robbery because it, well, i didn't get charged until nine months later because there was mm. no evidence yeah yeah mad yeah i couldn't believe so i thought with something as serious as this i thought i'm going to jail yeah, yeah. i thought um i'm getting remanded and whatever but then i got bail. Like, what the fuck so then i got bail Sorry, I keep swearing. My bad. I swear as much as yeah. you want. And then, um, so then I've, I'm on bail now and it's COVID. And then I go to court for the knife. So I get four months on tag for the knife. Yeah. But I'm on bail for the encro. Do you know what I mean? So I have to stay. I got a flat in Beckenham. So I have to stay at my mum's because of my, because um, I'm not, I, I, wasn't, I wasn't down at that flat in Beckenham. Do you know what I mean? Ooh. So because of my uh, conditions for like the other thing, I basically had to stay at my mum's. So I was on tag for four months and I don't know what I'm getting now for this encro, but I know I'm going to jail. You know you're getting something. And I'm on tag for this knife. And it was long. That was the longest, like, I was literally thinking, I wish, like, I want to just tell them, can you just like, can I, can I go on remand or can I, do you know what I mean? Because yeah. this tag is just like, I'm ta Not tag knowing what's going on, just mm. sitting at home on tag. Not kind of knowing, but in a way it's good because you're kind of prepared because you know you're going to jail for it. Yeah, yeah, no, literally that was a good thing. Literally, because I, I started getting my head uh, wrapped around it and I, mm. and I knew, do you know what I mean? So when I did go to jail, I was prepared. Yeah, so it wasn't no trial run or anything, it's just... No, so it kept getting, I was on, I was on bail for six months. It mm. kept getting pushed off and pushed off because of COVID. So, and I wasn't making any pleas. So this is another factor as well. So my solicitors were like, we have all the evidence and stuff, but don't make a plea because the Encro chat was hacked illegally. So there's a separate case going on with, um, I don't know who it's with, but it's the, the Encro chat, the NCA and the Encro chat people. 
to see how they've hacked it yeah. and if all the evidence is admissible in court. This is what I was hearing when I was yeah. in prison. That's why I was hearing was people's cases getting thrown out because yeah. of this. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I think maybe people uh, have busted it. Yeah. I'm not sure. There's still a lot of people in the run for it. Though, yeah, there? yeah, yeah. And I think there's people still hoping now that they can, um, like, this evidence can be thrown out. Yeah. But what's happened is, so I'm waiting for all this to, like, come to light, see what's going to happen. So I'm, like, watching the court cases. My missus is on it on Twitter. All the, like, all these, all these missus is down on the Encro. They're all on Twitter yeah. together, yeah, <laughs> yeah. seeing what's happening, isn't it? And then um, eventually it's gone. I think it went to Supreme Court. Mm. So it went to see if they were allowed to use the evidence. Eventually, after all that time, they were. It said that they were allowed to use the evidence. So when that's happened, I've gone, they told me to go guilty. So to get my 30% off. Yeah. Know? So that's what I've done. What court was you at? Um, Wood Green. Wood Green. Where would you go from Wood Green? Is it Pentaville? I went Pentaville. Pentaville, Pentaville yeah. There, mm. And how long did you spend in Pentaville? Literally two weeks. What was your, was, that, was this your first prison experience? Mm, yeah. Was it what you thought it was going to be? Um, your first night, what was you thinking? What was going on? Yeah, so obviously I was prepared because I was on bail and like all my pals were in jail. And you know people been going, you know people been going in and out of jail forever. So you know kind of like it's not what you... You always know someone, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like when you're younger, you think it's going to be mad, like the films and all that. But obviously as you get older, you realise like you know people are in there and you think... You'll be all right, innit? But when I f went to Pentaville, I was just f thinking, this is long. Like, this is not it. I'm never selling drugs again. It is, it's <laughs> all wrong, man. What is your, can you remember your first meal at reception? Oh, mate. <laughs> Probably some hard potatoes, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, and some some mints, like some mints and oh, mate, yeah. veg. They used to do something in Belmarsh. Um, you know, if you're in default, if you don't put your... your yeah, 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 yeah. They used to give us something called beef goulash. <laughs> Oh, mate, yeah, it was absolutely yeah. terrible, man. It's like, just like fucking slop, isn't it? Load of slop. So he's in, he's in Pentaville for two weeks. Yeah. Where did you go from there? So um, I went straight to Highdown. So when I got to Pentaville first, I've gone in and, um, yeah, gone through reception. And it's all surreal. You don't really know what's going on because this is my first. I, I'm, so when I've gone in there, I think I was 27. I'm 29 now. Is that right? Oh, well, I don't know. Sake. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, but like yeah it's just surreal you're just getting put through put through before you know it. i'm in some waiting room and there's all these people i'm like do they work here or what's going on do you know what i mean but these are prisoners They're as well prisoners, yeah. yeah i was confused so i was thinking yeah and then people started coming up to me said yeah what's happening mate like oh what jail do you come from and that yeah, yeah. and then like i was stressed i was like yeah i just come from the roads and that and they were like what are you in for i was like the end quote like oh the end quote and that like people obviously been hearing about it and that talking to some people so Marley Giza was like, yeah, come, let's bang up, let's bang up. We'll chat about this and all that. I think mean, they, they probably think I'm some massive bugger. You're going to be left was... alone, man, especially yeah. this one to get a single cell. Being in a double cell is not the one, is it? Yeah, yeah. So they, they banged me up with some um, Giza from East London. He was all right. He, he, he was all right. He was like chatty. It was good stuff. But, you know, in retrospect, I didn't really know about um, Rice then when I first got. Oh, what, um, what yeah, spice. Smoking, yeah, Spice. Oh, yeah, it's mental. But you know, if you look back at it now, if I, after doing um, Joe and that, if I look back at it now, I wouldn't know. No, he's probably like a smoker or whatever. I don't really want to bang up with him, innit? But mm. I didn't really know. Because they're not like, it's not like, um, it's not like a crackhead or something it's where you can... because that spice now is coming in paper form as well. Yeah, it's yeah, It's not yeah. just the synthetic uh, green stuff. It comes in actually sheets of paper now. Yeah, it's yeah. Like the Rizzlers are smoking. Yeah, mate. I, I found out the hard way because literally you've gone in there... So banged up with him, he's cool, we're chatting, but this is like a uh, COVID bang up. So it's one day exercise, one day shower. So you're banged up all day. Mm. You're only getting out for an hour exercise. Then the next day is a shower, so no yeah. exercise that day. So it's like literally two weeks, just like that. So I'm with this geezer all the time, yeah. And then um, there was Ramadan as well, innit? And he was getting the Ramadan boxes, yeah. He was just blagging it, innit? And eating the Ramadan boxes. And then, like, one day we, we just there, he's eating. I'm eating this fucking, sorry, I keep swearing, default food, yeah. I'm thinking, he looks a bit buzzing. Like, he looks like he's just smoked, so smoked weed or something, yeah. I was thinking, he looks high. And I thought, how? He can't be, innit? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I was thinking. Bro, I've got a st quick story, yeah. So um, they put some fella in my cell for like three nights. Yeah. Um, I'd done him a favor. I said, I'd call this. Put him in my cell for uh, whatever until, until you find him a spare cell. He was a smoker. Mm. Anyway, I've gone to work one morning. I've got back. Uh, it's like half 11. Just got back from the workshops. 
my cellmate's on the top bunk, asleep, with a patty in his mouth. He thought, <laughs> <laughs> so he must have smoked some spice. He's falling asleep with a patty in his mouth. <laughs> yeah. So I woke him up. I said, bro, what's going on? He said, who put that there? Who put that there? <laughs> he had a piece of patty from the day he put <laughs> in his mouth. He he's lucky I turned off because he could have choked. But <laughs> no I've, got way. I've got him out of the cell anyway, bless him. But do you know what it is? P people got their own ways of getting through their sentences. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I can yeah. see your fit. I'll see your Instagram yeah. and I'll see that you work out. Yeah. How was you get coping getting through your sentence? Yeah, so so from that, um, going back to that geezer quickly, so this is my first two weeks, so it's quite like, I was thinking, is this what it's going to be like? Because this is, I can't, like, this is long, yeah? I was thinking, I'm just going to, you know, go the other way yeah, and yeah. just end up like, like, get me out of here. I'd rather go do, be in isolation by myself, innit? So, because one day we're chilling, he was all right, innit? I was reading a book, but he didn't like to train or anything because I wanted to train. I wanted to go out and exercise and that. So I started doing burpees in the cell. But, you know, like, it's just me and him. He so don't train. It's a bit some, weird, some isn't it? there's no space. You're all sweating. And... Yeah, yeah. He was all right with it, innit? But I didn't want to take the piss and start sweating up the, the whole cell. Yeah, and yeah. That. But anyway, one day we're chilling. And then, like, I'm reading a book, yeah? And I just hear, like, uh, uh, like some mad noises. I'm thinking, what's going on? He's like, you all right, mate? And then he's, uh, like, just hear like that. And I look up, yeah? And he's, like, bent over. Sorry. He's bent over, going, mmm, like foaming at the mouth, vomiting, yeah. having a fit. I'm thinking, what the fuck? Maybe he's epileptic or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but no, he's, he's been smoking rice secretly, isn't it? Some geese are coming, slipping their little things under. And it's not like you're smoking a zoo. It's a little like blast off the... Literally a couple pulls and you're gone, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So I didn't even realise, isn't it? And he's had a mad fit. Luckily, the screws have come to the door at the exact same time to bust it to give him something, like uh, some papers or something. And he's having a seizure. I didn't know what to do, isn't it? He's having a seizure. They've took him down. Um, what's it called? Blue, what do they call it? Oh, Code Blue. Code, code blue. blue, yeah, Code Blue and all that. I'm thinking, oh, mate, it's my first week, get me out of here. Do you know what's crazy, though? Like, I feel sorry for all these people who use the smoke spice. The thing is, they'd have these episodes, go over. Yeah. They'd add it. As soon as they get back to Straight the Straight away. Bang, smoking a spice once again. Yeah, yeah, literally. I said to him, listen, mate, I had no idea you was doing that. Yeah, I said, you got to get out of here. But then, that's, uh, like, I always feel like I'm kind of, I've got someone watching over me, like I'm a bit guided, I'm all right. You know, like I have to learn these lessons and then you're yeah. aware, like once you learn it, like just a bit of awareness, because then the next day, so I was thinking if they don't get me out of here, like I'm just going to end up like going mad on him. Yeah, he was all right though, don't get me wrong, but it's like I, you don't know what to do in them situations. Yeah. I don't want to speak to the gods and that because I don't like, I'm just... Yeah, of course. You're just trying to do your sentence and grow him, in you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't really know what Joel's like, innit? Was this head on? No, this is still in Pentonville. This is my first, first two weeks. This is bro. the first two weeks. That's what I'm saying. That's when you thought, you know, Jar's long. Uh, yeah, I thought, is this what this is going to be like? Isn't it? But I knew once I go and I've got pals in other places, my cousin's in high down and that. For once I get over there, it's going to get smooth. Like, yeah. it'll be better. And then the next day, they've opened it. Um, Muldoon, you ready? You're going to high down. I was like, oh my God. Thank, thank you. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. We're gone. And then, yeah, as soon as we've gone over there, I met um, a geezer called Lou. Shout him out. Another Lou. And, um, Shout out, Lou. Yeah, good stuff. Soon as I met, I met him in Pentonville, and as uh, soon as I met him, he's like training and that. We're in the waiting room thing, innit? And he's going, you training and that? I'm like, yeah. He's like, um, where are you going? I'm like, hi, down. He's like, same. He's like, I'll come you bang up together and that. And he was like, we'll just train. And I was telling him all about um, fitness and yeah. like he wanted to learn about the food stuff. And I was telling him all about macros and calories and all this and that. And yeah, we ended up... Um, Banging up together in High Down House Block Two for two weeks. Then yeah. the uh, was it the, the introduction? Yeah, I think two weeks or something. Yeah. Oh, man, I'm just gonna go and shut the door. Go back. Yes, bro. So, are you right? Yeah. So, so um, where was we? In... Um, I got to High Down. High Down. And then I met the geezer I was training with uh, Lou, and we just was training, and that was it. That was a bit better after that. Do you know what I mean? After being in the in the ville with that geezer. <laughs> oh man, that's I mean? absolutely mental, bro. Yeah. So then me and he were just training every day. Like he was on it. We were doing burpees in the cell, like back to back. I'm going do 10, he does 10. They were doing like all these mad workouts. And it was just like, I felt instantly, you know, when you're doing that, when you're training, because before I was just sitting around and- When you're just sitting around, that's when you're just sitting there thinking and mm. you know, I want to go home. But see, when you, you focus on something like you're yeah, training, yeah. that's how I got through my sentences. That's it. Training, man. Yeah, because the time flies when you're training. And you enjoy it. You don't think, when you're in the moment and you're doing something, you're present, you don't think about anything else. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So how long was you in high down for? Um, I've done the rest of my sentence there. So I've done basically my whole sentence. So like a year, like over, just over a year. Yeah. So you, from induction wing, mm. did you go to, uh, is that house block five? You yeah, were saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. I went five, five A, yeah. That's why I was at five A. I think I was on the freeze on the top. 
Oh, okay, yeah, I was on the twos. They're sorry. all single cells, though. Really. I think yeah. there's one double cell on there, isn't there? No, now they've changed it. So at the bottom, there's like a row, like on the left bit, there's yeah. a row of like maybe 10 well, doubles. doubles. Yeah, 10 That's doubles. Because them cells are small, you know? Yeah, I know, literally. So when we first got there, so my cousin was over on 5A. Mm. So he's, so I'm calling my brother saying, um, tell him to get me over there and all that. And then I'm chatting to them, trying to get, get over there. And he's on that side, trying to get me over there. And then um, that it doesn't usually work like that, from what I've heard. Like other people trying to get onto the wing straight yeah, away. So sometimes the screws, like some of them, are actually helpful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true. It's true. I it's mean, true. Five A. That was the spot. That's where everyone wanted to get to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally, and and we got over there. So like the first day, they were like, um, "All right, you two pack up your stuff. You're going together." So me and Lou, I was thinking, yeah, because I can stay with him. Yeah. We can train, innit? I don't mind. I knew eventually I'd get into a single as long as I go there. So I've gone there anyway um, with my cellmate. We're about to go, bags packed and everything. Someone comes in from exercise, starts going, ah, jumps on the netting. They're like, no, you lot ain't going. I'm like, oh, f- where, are we going? where am I going then, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, Because yeah. I wanted to go to 5A, innit? Because so my cousin was there. And then, um, was this all still in COVID? Oh, mate, yeah. COVID was lasted. My whole thing. I was, in pri- I was in prison for the COVID as well. Yeah, that was all COVID. So we was barely coming out then, half an hour. No gym. No gym, no gym. Gym didn't start until I was like, realistically, like four, five months in. Yeah. And then it was once. And then when, when we did have gym, it was football at the same time. So I like playing football because it's more enjoyed, of a laugh. I enjoyed football in high down. Yeah, it's jokes, isn't it? Them AstroTurf boots in there, man. They're, they used to hurt my feet. Man. You yeah, feel the yeah. little studs in your feet. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I just kept on my own trainers, sliding them all over Do the you know what? I don't mind the gym staff in high down, now. Yeah, they were all right. It was actually all right. Yeah, um, they used to play football as well. Do you know? That's the best job, though, isn't it? I, 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 was, I was hoping I'd get that. But that's what my cellmate ended up getting a gym orderly job, put on some size. Because when you're in there, you get the weights in it so you can put on the yeah. size. Otherwise, you're just doing um, burpees and yeah. pull-ups and muscle-ups and all that shit. That's what we were doing. If you, if you can like, give a bit of advice to like, a 15-year-old yourself, mm. for instance, what, what do you, well, the youngsters of today, what advice would you give them? Yeah, literally, I would say work on find your purpose in life mm. and and work on delayed delaying your gratification so things aren't going to come that's what's wrong about you know just that's what messes us up here when you're about running about shot and doing this and that it's all instant gratification like you make money so quickly that it messes with your head and you think this is how life works and you don't then have that work ethic in you to build anything yeah so if i'd say to my younger self you need to like Pick something that you want to do and you need to work for years to accomplish it. You Set know, some goals and targets and that. Literally. And if it doesn't pay off straight away, don't give up and, and revert back to what what you think is the, the easiest option. Yeah. You need to keep going and push through. Because that was consistent. Yeah. Because I'd always I'd always stop. Like I would go, oh, I want to do this now, and I'll try and do something, and then oh, this is just long. I'm not making any money. Or I like, see someone with a new whip or someone's got this and that, and I think. Oh, no, nah, I need to get a whip. Do you know what I mean? Because then it, it builds that ego in you when you're doing that. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's a lot of ego, I think. You have to let the ego go, man. I let that mm. go a long time ago. And that. Yeah. I mean, I see you've got um, a skipper rope here. I'm not very good at skipping, so maybe you can yeah, teach yeah. me. But um, what's, what's going on with these? Yeah, these, um, yeah, this is your one there, so you can... Oh, sick. <laughs> yeah. I needed one as well, you know. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. Um, it's, it, 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 it's banging. This is going to be live on... Well, it is live now on madetomovelondon.com. We got two different colours, three different colours actually, black, white, and then um, a mixture on the handles. But yeah, get onto the skipping, especially if you want to be a fighter or if you're interested in boxing, Muay Thai or anything. This is where I first started because I needed to get, you know, I was so flat footed because yeah. I, I started off banging weights. Yeah. So I was so heavy. Do you know what I mean? I couldn't, and I wanted to have that little pep in my step. Yeah. So I started skipping and that literally got the footwork, the coordination, and especially even if you want to cut weight, if you're a bodybuilder, you know, once you're trying to do a tr- trick, yeah. you're, you're trying to figure it out. By the time you figured it out, you don't realize you've just done 45 minutes skipping. I'm, I'm, you know I'm I mean? absolutely terrible at skipping, so maybe you can show me something when we go. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, definitely. What else are you doing? You're a PT as well, weren't you? Yeah, so now I PT, I do uh, boxing, coaching, and just general fat loss as well. And my main goal is to launch this brand and, and push this brand, me to move. Yeah. So, made to move. Make sure you get yours, you know. Made to move London.com. So we're gonna be coming out with loads of other things, you know, pads, yeah, uh, hand wraps, all 
type of um, all equipment that's in line with our brand. So, you yeah. know, fighting stuff like, yeah, we're just going to keep pushing it and growing it. And just, um, um, we've got a YouTube episode coming out. It's uh, Made to Move, Get the Munchies. It's a MMA and food show. So the first half of the show, we're going around sparring, bit of jiu-jitsu, Muay Thai. And then the second half, we're going around and finding all the, the local hotspots to get good food and you know I mean, it sounds like a plan on to be involved. Yeah, definitely. We're getting uh, trying to get like guests on it every time. So well, shout out me, I'm happily I happily participate. Hundred percent. Yeah, we'll do a workout first, do yeah. some type of whatever type of fitness, and then we'll go and find all the hot spots. So like we'll start off with your recommendation, and then from there just bounce about and find a good spot. That'd be sick. Yeah. Right, listen, that's the end of the interview. You ready for your workout? Yep, sweet brother. Let's, Let's go, bro. sweet mate. All right, bro. This is what we're going to be doing. We're going to start. This is the clean and press. If you'd like to just demonstrate one rep for me. And up, press. We're going to be doing 10 of them and we're going to be counting down 10, 8, 6, 4, 2. And then we're going to be moving on to the deadlift. We're going to do the same thing on it. If you could just uh, give you one demonstration. Ah, oh, look at the full body. Yes, brother. And everyone's favorite exercise is the burpee with a press. Yes, love that. All right, boys, we ready? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Do it. Here he is. Let's, let's go, let's, let's go. get it, lads. <laughs> right, lads, Come are you ready? Ready. We start with 10 reps, and we're going to work our way. So 10, then I'm going to move round. 3, 2, 1. Let's go, lads. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six, seven, eight, good reps, nine, ten. Are you on them burpees? Yeah. Right, that one's gonna be the killer, lads. <laughs> let's go, Sean, how many are you on? Sean, let's go. Alright, that's it. Ten reps. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Oh, fuck. 
to nominate the next person. Oh, that was hard. All right, I'm going to nominate my boy Timmy. His Instagram is at Timmy4DR. He's an up and coming rapper. He's a beast as well. He's fit. So, Timmy, you've been nominated. See you here. Big Blue Chimbos. We're done.